Fighter 2. You can take just about any franchise and make a decent pinball machine, even Star Wars. Street Fighter 2 is no exception, but it still pales in comparison to the Terminator 2 pinball machine. That's one they need to put in this game. Street Fighter 2 makes for an interesting and exceptionally challenging pinball table in Zen Pinball. I think it's the most challenging table available for the Zen Pinball game. I've previously reviewed Zen Pinball for PlayStation 3. It's a downloadable game available from the PlayStation Network. It comes with four tables. This is an add-on table, which costs a couple bucks, about the price of a really large, good cup of coffee. Not, like, cheap, crappy gas station coffee. You can get hours of gameplay out of this table if you're into Zen Pinball, which is easily one of the best pinball video games ever made. I love the details on their pinball tables, and this one is extremely well designed. Complete with well-drawn Street Fighter II characters, sound effects, and the music. Note that it's also flanked by two Street Fighter II machines. There's lots of things to do on this table, many different ways to score points and character combos and fighting. Like the rest of their tables, this is designed to keep you playing for a while, and you have some additional trophies that you can unlock. As I mentioned in the original Zen Pinball review, I wish they would have supplied a more detailed instruction sheet. It's taken me a while to figure out most of the ways to earn points in the game, and I'm still not entirely sure on how to rack up all of the character combos. And the bumpers in the top left are completely obstructed from view when you're playing in, the, in any of the normal views. That's a problem I have with all their tables. If, if I wish they would just sort of leave that area blank. You can lean over a real pinball table and actually see bumpers if they're behind ramps and stuff, but not so much in this one. That's a minor detail. Reviewing a pinball machine add-on for a pinball video game is like reviewing a map pack for Call of Duty. If you really like the game, more of it is a good thing. Assuming they do a nice job, which they frequently do for any add-on content for video games. There's no zombie level here, but you do get a lot of gameplay for a very, very affordable price. Let's kick back and watch some pinball as I hunt down that multi-ball as fast as possible by shooting the uh, Blanca ramp on the top right, which spells charge. But before I do that, I'm going to spar with Akuma. His name is spelled on the left ramp, as you can see. He's standing over the ramp. You really can't miss him. And I lose the fight, but somehow I'm going to get a Zangief multi-ball. I'm actually not sure how I did that. Well, as you can see, the more time you spend with the game, the more you'll figure it out. I've probably spent several hours on the table and definitely enjoy it. Although it, it can be exceptionally frustrating. I found one of the best ways to rack up series points in the game is to start a multi-ball, which isn't terribly challenging if you can nail that ramp over and over and over again and just keep the balls in play. Zen Pinball has several different camera angles and online leaderboards. You can play the game with your own music as well if you don't want to hear the Street Fighter theme over and over and over again. But the Street Fighter theme is pretty good, so can't complain about that one. I like the sound effects too, they've done a nice job with that. This is the super close view, which shows you the detail on the table and looks really cool, except that it's extremely difficult to play because you can't see what you're shooting at or what is lit up on screen. When you loop the ball around the left or the right, it lights up the word police. 
And then these two things pop up in the middle and then you shoot Cammy on the two pop-ups. That's another good way to rack up some points. I'm still learning. I like the table. It is tough. I would like better instructions. But you, you get a lot of gameplay for just a couple bucks. Which is about uh, what you would spend if you actually went to an arcade and played pinball. With Zen Pinball, you get multiple pinball machines in the comfort of your own home in front of your television. And they don't take up that much room. About the uh, same amount of space as a PlayStation 3 and television. And I like the whole idea of a tribute pinball machine based on a video game. Street Fighter 2 is a nice choice, but let's think of some other ones like Dig Dug. Metal Gear Solid, or Thunder Force. I think that uh, getting the Hunter weapon power-up would make for an awesome multi-ball for the Thunder Force pinball machine. It's got excellent music, too. Thunder Force, the pinball machine. Someone write them a letter. <laughs>